Hi, I'm Hina Haman, a project fellow at the Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology. I would like to introduce you to a comprehensive computation pipeline for clinical evaluation of mitochondrial variations from NGS datasets called Mitometic that has been designed in our lab under the guidance of Dr. Vinod Skaria. Mitochondria, as we all know, is the powerhouse of the cell and any aberrations in the mitochondrial genome might cause dysfunction of the oxidative phosphorylation cycle, thereby causing respiratory chain disorders. The pediatric onset of mitochondrial disorders occurs at an estimated incidence of 1 in 5,000 individuals and estimated prevalence of around 1 in 7,634 individuals. There has been an increasing evidence of mitochondrial variations and mitochondrial dysfunction to be associated with a number of pathophysiological conditions that include neurological disorders, gastrointestinal disorders, cardiomyopathies, ophthalmological disorders, etc. 16,569 bases of mitochondrial genome encode for 37 genes out of which 13 are protein coding, 22 are transfer RNAs and 2 are ribosomal RNAs which encountered a high mutation rate of around 2.7 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per base per generation which is around 1000 fold higher than the nuclear counterpart. This may be probably because of the scarcity of repair enzymes, lack of histone like proteins, high replication rate and production of reactive oxygen species presence of more than one mitochondrial genotype results in heteroplasmy that is carried by around 90% of the individuals and around 20% of the individuals harbor these heteroplasmies reported to be implicated in diseases. So it's like in eukaryotic cells there are hundreds of mitochondria with hundreds of mitochondrial DNA and it has been observed that not all the mutations can cause a functional consequence. Low level of mitochondrial heteroplasmies might result in no effect at all and above a particular threshold it might cause dysfunction of oxidative phosphorylation that results in production of reactive oxygen species which causes exponential increase in the mitochondrial DNA mutations that triggers apoptosis and further creates energetically compromised tissues resulting in neuropathy, cardiomyopathy, respiratory failures, gastrointestinal failures, ophthalmoplegia, hepatic failures or even ovarian failures. Apart from this, it also causes signs of aging like hearing loss, hair loss, graying of hair, curvature of spine, muscle loss and wrinkled skin. So need of the art is transformation of genomics research using large depth coverage data to effectively map heteroplasmic variations and with the drastic reduction in the time and cost in NGS techniques, the mitochondrial DNA sequencing has become affordable which can be used as a standard molecular diagnostic test. But there is a lack of appropriate computational pipeline for data analysis in spite of the presence of number of online resources that, uh, that harbor various uh, information, biological information for uh, mitochondrial genome that include uh, mitomap, mito-lsdb, mddb, etc. Apart from this, there is limited application of NGS by clinicians for mtDNA analysis. So, we have created a computational pipeline for analysis of mitochondrial variations to fill in this gap. Mitochondrial DNA in FASTQ format can be aligned use over the RCRS reference genome using uh, various alignment tools like MAC, BWA or Bowtie. The deciphered variations can be extracted and filtered based on heteroplasmic frequencies using a custom Perl script. 
the unique variations that are further deciphered are then estimated for the corresponding haplogroup. Genetic and phenotypic association is also determined and heteroplasmic sites are also identified with this pipeline. Apart from this, the unique variations are mapped onto the existing databases that is MITOMAP, MITOLSDB and MTDB to find out the novel variations and these are further detected for potential functional consequences using SIFT. These annotations along with the disease association are compiled in an actionable report summary. The entire pipeline has been compiled into a user-friendly interface that does not require any specialized skills to operate while giving a comprehensive overview of variants with clinical correlation. Three options have been provided. Option 1 ending, gives you access for running the complete pipeline online over a sample of less than 25 MB which is around 1500x coverage. You just need to enter the read length, browse the files, enter the query name, select the tool you want to use for alignment, select whether the data is single end or paired end, choose the heteroplasmic frequency cutoff above which you want to decipher the variations within your data set. Option 2 enables you to annotate uh, an already prepared past pileup file and option 3 enables you to download command line version of Mitomatic wherein you can analyze a data with higher than 25 MB on your workstations. The commands can be found in the manual. A highly descriptive manual has been prepared which explains the prerequisites required to run the alignment tool, Be best practice involved for creating the fastq format file and to help you select the correct heteroplasmic frequency cutoff we have performed accuracy estimation wherein true positive and false positive values reported by Mitometic across different cutoffs set for samples with varied percentage of variant frequencies have been plotted. For example, for a data at 300x coverage and FRED quality of around Q30 with maximum allele frequency of 30%, the best range to select the heteroplasmic frequency cutoff would be around 8 to 26% since within this range you would get 100% true positives and 0 false positives. Lesser than that, lesser than 8% might result in increase in false positive results and a value greater than 26% might result in losing the true positive variations that are there within your data set. The manual also describes commands for the command line version and various examples to run the command line tool. Apart from this, it also provides a detailed introduction of the report that is generated. As a proof of principle, we sequenced the mitochondrial genome of a patient with Lay syndrome and generated a report from Mitomatic for this mitochondrial DNA. The report is divided into four sections. Report summary details the reference genome used, number of variants uploaded, number of variants mapped, novel variations that are found, and haplogroup corresponding to the deciphered variations, disease associated variations, number of heteroplasmic sites, and number of variations with 
population frequencies are also reported in the report summary. Then is the list of variations with phenotypic association which details variant position with the reference allele, alternate allele, corresponding amino acid change, the gene within which the variant lies, the disease that is caused by the variation and whether the variation is synonymous or non-synonymous with the corresponding population frequency. Heteroplasmic frequency of the variation is also reported along with this. Then is the list of novel variations that are not reported in the already available databases. The ones that are reported in the databases have been listed under the section of mapped variations. So for this report, a haplogroup of U2A1 has been classified for the deciphered variations and a confirmed pathogenicity at position 8993 has been reported to cause the Lay's disease because of a mutation of T2G resulting in an amino acid change of lysine to arginine within the NT-ATP6 gene. So with this I would like to thank you all for your kind attention and for any further queries or suggestions please contact us at the 